Hi, I'm Debbie Patterson, and I'm part of the health and fitness team at Five Sport and Leisure Trust. Today, I'm going to deliver a lovely Hatha yoga session focusing on the neck and shoulders, and it can be incorporated into your day. This is a fantastic sequence that releases tension in this area, which I find to be a common problem that people experience and request to do in my classes. So first of all, let's check the surrounding area um, and make sure there's no wires or anything that's obstructing your space. And if you already have a mat and a strap, that's great. But if not, then a towel and a tie is absolutely fine. Are we ready? Let's go. So first of all, just take yourself um, back into an extended child's pose. So hips back to heels. So bringing your big toes together, knees nice and wide, so wider than your hips, about your mat width apart. And then bring your chest all the way forward to the floor. So just walk your fingertips forward, maybe tuck in your chin and bring the hairline down to the mat so that we really stretch the back of the neck. Spread the fingers nice and wide and just notice how your body's feeling. So just start with nice, simple breaths in and out through your nose and our deep belly breathing. An extended child's pose is a lovely pose to just stretch off that lower back into the sacroiliac joint, into the ankles, the feet, the knees, the thighs, the groins. Focus on the extension through the spine and just relax the elbows. You can even walk the hands in, just softening the elbows to the floor, just releasing and creating space between your ears and your shoulders. Then as we draw the breath in and out through the nose, just guide the breath all the way down to the space just below the chest and above the belly button. Just going to focus on bringing the breath in, feeling that area lift. And then as you breathe out, feeling the area fall. Maybe closing your eyes. Just focus on your out breath, that relaxation through your body as you soften the muscles towards the floor. Maybe just scoop your tailbone under just a little to tilt the pelvis and to help lift the lower belly up towards the spine to activate the core. Then with your next breath in, start to shift your breath into your rib cage, into your diaphragmatic breath. So this breath sequence just allows more oxygen into the body to feed the working muscles. Allow the breath to come all the way up the spine towards the brain. And just focus on that breath in. Feeling your rib cage, just gently caress your inner thighs. And as you breathe out, just fall away, ribs away from your inner thighs. Just a few more breaths here. In and out through the nose. You may want to just move a little, pressing the right armpit down towards the floor. And then pressing the left armpit down towards the floor. Just alternate this. Just find your own rhythm with your breath. And then lift your forehead away from the floor. Just turn and look under the right arm. So bringing that left ear down to the mat. And just softening your eye gaze. Take another breath here. And then with your next breath in, lift your head and turn and look under your left arm. Maybe dropping through your right shoulder just a little. Keeping the pelvic floor lifted and engaged and activated. The next breath in, lift the head off. Just tuck the chin in a little bit deeper to get more length through your spine and encourage your hips to soften back towards your heels more. Just feeling a little bit more depth of that stretch. And then with your next breath in, 
just slide your hands in towards your body, lift your belly button up towards your spine and round into your cat stretch. So bring in your wrists under your shoulders, weight forward, adjust so your knees come under your hips, maybe walking the legs back slightly. Relax your toes so we stretch through the ankles and the front of the feet and just draw the belly up higher so we round through our spine more. Encourage the shoulder blades to come away from your spine. So draw your hands away from each other to activate the shoulders and the arms. And then with your next breath in, just let your chest float between your arms and eye gaze forward as you dip through the lower back. So breathing out, lift the belly high, round through the spine. I'll just show you on the diagonal. Lifting nice and high, pressing into the ankles and then bringing the chest between the arms as you dip through the lower back. Now keeping the arms nice and straight as you exhale, round into your cat stretch, pushing the floor away and then breathing in, keeping the belly braced just moving through the pelvis and through the spine, looking forward. We've got two more times, scoop under and round, encouraging blood flow, energy flow through the pelvis, up the spine towards the brain. And one more time, breathing out. And breathing in. Well done. Return your spine to flat back, nice and long. So reaching out through the tailbone, through the crown of the head. Then start to walk your fingertips forward. Now keep your knees stacked underneath your hips. Again, I'll show you from the side into puppy posture. We slide the arms forward, bringing the forehead down towards the floor. Encouraging the shoulder blades to part and the armpits to press down towards the floor. So feel that deep stretch across your upper back. Keep the belly lifted and engaged to support the lower back here. One more breath here. On your next breath in, walk your hands in and slide your right arm under your left one, bringing your right ear to the floor. Adjust the left hand so wrist is underneath the elbow and press that left hand into the floor as you just adjust, taking your left shoulder back to assist your twist here. So we're getting right into the thoracic part of the spine, mobility, encouraging movement, and just wringing out the spine here. Really good for spine health. Relax your shoulders as you breathe out. And then inhale, press the left hand into the floor, lift up. And as you breathe out, left arm threads through, ear down. Hand comes underneath the elbow. Engage the hand to the floor and then take that right shoulder back. Encourage belly to spine. So we keep that lower back nice and safe. And then push the floor away and lift all the way up onto all fours. So working on stay, um, hip and stabilization of the shoulders. So as we breathe in, right arm floats up to ear, left leg floats back, pressing heel towards the back wall. Eye gaze to the floor, Activate your inner thighs to help with stability and engage that left hand into the floor. So the right arms in line with the ear, draw the shoulder back and press away with the left heel. One more breath here, keep the belly braced. Hand and knee to the floor, shift the weight and extend the left arm and right leg, pressing all the way back. So see if you could reach out through your fingertips and take that shoulder back. One more breath here. Well done. Hand and knee to the floor. Press your hips all the way back, so big toes touch. Come into traditional balasana. So we sweep the arms back, tuck the chin in, lay the forehead gently down on the floor and open up through your upper back. 
Just take the time to connect with that breath again. One more time. And then bring the hands under the shoulders, lift yourself up to a seated position. So we come on to sit bones, bring in that right leg in front so our ankles cross. Taking the hands to the sit bones and just guiding them back to create space so we can tilt the pelvis. If you're finding that you're rounding through your back, maybe take a pillow or a block, just perch on the edge of the block just to tilt your pelvis forward to free up the space in the lower back. Relax the shoulders, so draw them up to the ears, circle them back and down, and just lay your palms facing upwards. Keep your chest nice and open, so long through your collarbones. As we breathe in, lift up through your right hand, press the heel of the hand forward and take the left fingers and gently guide your fingers back towards your arm. Feeling the work in the wrist. We're gonna hold it here. We also want to make sure navel is in towards the spine so the core is nice and strong. And then release the fingertips gently and take the fingers on the diagonal. Draw the fingers back slightly. Notice how that feels in relation to which part of the arm you're going to feel that in now. And then fully externally rotate round so the shoulder opens fingertips draw back to the arm and we get a nice stretch right down the forearm and then release palms facing up just notice how your right arm feels compared to your left arm next breath in we lift up through the left arm draw the shoulder back and encourage the fingertips back so set your shoulder really safely, shoulder blade down towards your hip points. You might want to close your eyes. You might just want to be with that breath, entering the ribs and leaving again. And then just take the fingers out, just slightly on the diagonal, draw them back, encouraging the little finger to come back too. And then fully fingertips down. Draw the fingertips back and press the heel of the hand forward. Keep the shoulders level and engaged. And then release, palms facing up. Nice big breath in, arms reach wide and high. We interlace the fingers and press the palms to the ceiling. Now squeezing the arms into the ears. And if you feel your shoulders are lifting, then encourage them to relax down and just bend your elbows. Just settle the shoulders, create that space in your neck. But if you can, lengthen it out. And let's come into a spinal twist. So we twist to the right side. So left hand to the outer right thigh, right hand close to the bottom and use that to lift up and then twist more. So we never just let your eye gaze just gently look back and you drop your right shoulder away from your ear a little bit more is your spine upright and straight can you draw your tummy in towards your spine more and then see on your next breath out if you can twist a little bit more then from here to release the twist, just gently creep your right fingertips around towards your knee and then sweep your left arm all the way up. Bend the elbow and just lay it on the side of your head. Then encourage your left ear to your left shoulder and feel that deep stretch from your ear all the way down your neck to your shoulder. You might want to close your eyes. It might feel good to turn the head. Remember, you've just got a light touch of this left hand. So if you're feeling really tight and restricted in your neck, just turn your chin from side to side just to feel the tightness in your neck and try and release it. We're going to keep that chin in towards the left armpit here so that we can deepen the stretch right into the mastoid all the way down. 
Now you can keep your right fingertips down on the floor or you can just float them up and then reach out through the fingertips. So we get that stretch all the way down the arm and out towards the fingers. Really spread your fingers too. Hold it here. Just keep using the hand as a little bit of weight to assist the stretch. Then let your fingertips land gently down, release your top hand and bring your hands on your thighs, palms up and then gently lift your head up and turn and face forward, relaxing the shoulders. So just take this time to notice how your right side feels compared to your left. It should feel longer, it should feel more open, more relaxed through the shoulder. Take a big breath in, release your arms wide and high. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up again and see if you need to soften the elbows. Now be mindful we're not sticking the floating ribs out. We want to draw them in and knit them together so that we're working from a good foundation. Then we take a twist as we turn to the left. So right hand comes to the outer, left fingertips come close to the bottom and we lift out of that space and then start to revolve, start to turn. Keeping the tummy drawn in, using your hand on your outer thigh to assist a deeper twist here. So getting right into your thoracic, mobilizing your spine. Our twisting is really good for our digestive system. So just be mindful as we move. And creep the fingertips round. Turn, lift the arm, lift it all the way up. Bend the elbow, lay it gently on the side of the face and encourage your ear towards your shoulder. Start to feel that stretch. Do you want to move it? Do you want to move your chin? So turning your chin towards your right shoulder and then turn it towards the left one. Maybe do that a few times. See how that feels. And then just notice, does that feel easier than the other side? Just as difficult, just as tight. And then hold it. Then we might lift the fingertips off and reach them out. We might close our eyes, just be aware of that breath, entering and leaving the ribs. And then bringing the palm down, releasing the hand and bringing the head back to neutral. And again, just notice how that feels. Inhaling. Taking the arms up. Now you're going to bring your right wrist on top of your left one. Then take the fingers, interlace them. So we come into a clasp and then reach the arms up. Now you might need to move from side to side. Just wriggle around, find your own organic movement here to find what feels good for you. And squeeze the arms into the ears. Now keep the tummy braced and sit deep into your hips. If you're feeling this a struggle in your lower back or your groins, then you can come into a kneeling position. Then we bend the elbows and bring the wrist to the crown of the head. Then press the knuckles up to the ceiling, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Dropping, so bending. Inhaling, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. And one more, exhale and reach. Excellent. And clasp the hands, bring the palms facing up and just notice how that feels. Inhaling, arms come forward, left wrist on top of right, interlace, lift the arms up. Again, wriggle around, notice how this feels. If you need to change the cross in the leg, you can take the left leg in front, just see how it feels. Bend the elbows and reach all the way up, squeezing. Now watch the belly's not flaring, keep the tummy in two times and we reach. We have three more, exhale, inhale, two more times, exhale, inhale 
and last one. Well done. Bring the arms forward, release, palms up. Lovely. Taking our next breath in, we're going to take the arms out, shoulder height. Then bring fingertips together, almost like a beak. So pressing thumb and fingers together. Feel that deep stretch as you encourage your wrists out to the side. Now make sure that the arms are not too far forward. They're not too far back where you're pushing your ribs out. We want to draw in and just keep the arms out, drawing the fingertips in towards the armpits. Going to start to rotate the arms backwards. So five rotations back, four, three, two, and one. Let's do five forward, five, four, three, nice and slow, two, and one. Then bring the hands down, palms facing up. Again, just pause and feel. Moving into eagle arms. So this focuses on contracting the front of the body, but actually opens up the upper back. So releases through our neck. So bringing your arms forward, change the cross on your legs if you need to. You're bringing your right arm on top of your left arm and bending the elbows. Now we're going to bring the hand round. So try and ideally to get the hands together. If we need a little less, if that feels too much, we can hold on to the thumb or even less, we can bring the top of the hands together. Now just nestle the elbows in tight, then lift up through the fingertips as you lift the elbows up, bring the fingertips forward and start to feel that deep stretch at the top of your neck and shoulders. Now, as you bring the fingertips forward, your elbows will come into the center of your chest. So you'll get that stretch right across that upper back. Then try tucking your chin into chest and feel that stretch go right the way down to your shoulders, into the shoulder blades. Then you might just move your head, bringing left ear to left shoulder and then right ear to right shoulder. And see if you can hold and just alternate nice and slowly. Now you might feel some clicking through your neck as you relieve tightness and release the tension here. One more time. So we're going to go to the right and then to the left. Return the eye gaze to forward, lift the arms and release palms up. Now you'll feel the prana, the energy working through the shoulders into the shoulder head and the blood moving around. So just be aware of that. Let's come to the other side. So arms come out, left arm comes on top of right. We bend the elbows and we find our hand placement. Now that, this might feel different on this side. Then inhale, lift the fingertips all the way up. Lovely. Bring the elbows in towards the chest and the fingertips forward. Can we create that space between the neck and the shoulders? Nice. Tuck your chin into your chest. Feel that deep stretch. Do you want to move your head? So right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left. Keep going with that. And finishing on your left side. Bring your head back to neutral and lift your arms all the way up. Release the arms, palms up and just take a moment here. Now we're coming into the last stretch. It's into the tricep muscles into the back of the arms. So if you have a strap, that's good. If you have a tie, that's fine. You might not need either. So I'll coach you as we go through. So you're gonna lift up through the right arm and bend the elbow and take your fingertips down, walk them down towards your right shoulder blade. This gets access right into the tricep muscle and right into the armpit. Then the left hand is gonna go behind and fingers will interlace. 
okay so the fingers will touch you're going to pull down through your left hand and reach up with your right elbow watch that your neck isn't forward or your chin is leading we want to draw the chin back and just hold it here now if you can actually use um, if you can't link the fingers you can use your um, strap or your tie and all you would do i'll turn around and show you is take the hand and just hold on to the tie or the strap and the other hand here so we reach up with one and pull down with the other so we're not just working flexibility but we're working strength into the shoulder too but if you can just let the fingers touch press your right elbow back and draw your tummy in if it's too much on the legs come to a kneeling position or sit in a block or a blanket or cushion and just hold the stretch here then we're going to release shake it out right out through your fingertips and then come to the other side. So we take the left arm, bend it, reach it down towards the shoulder blade and take the right hand behind and take a hold. Now you want this left elbow close to the ear so we stabilize and keep the shoulder nice and safe. Left shoulder slides down the back. We press the elbows away and connect those fingers or with your strap. Well done. One more breath. And then we're going to move into reverse prayer. So this again is a good one for the chest now. So the hands come behind. And again, I'll show you from the back. So we take the arms, relax the shoulders back and down, take the arms and press the hands. So we nestle them in between the shoulder blades and get the palms together, get the thumbs together, get the fingers together. Then the elbows press back. Now, if we can't get our hands in reverse prayer, we're going to cross the elbows, cross the arms and take hand to opposite elbow. So your shoulders go back to really open your chest. So a couple of options. We can also use the tie or the strap. So we connect it between our hands. You should be able to get a hold of your elbows or reverse prayer into the back. If you're with me in reverse prayer, the elbows go back. We really want to open up through the pectoral muscle, right into the chest, right into the front of the shoulder. While squeezing shoulder blades into the into spine, opening through our chest. This helps with really good postural muscles. We might tuck our chin into chest. We might take the head from side to side, ear to ear. Just notice how that feels when we do that. And then release and shake it out through the fingers. Just take your hands, maybe find a mudra with your hands, your palms may be up, thumb and index finger together, and just take this time to just breathe. So we're gonna close our eyes. Relax your shoulders down. Take your right ear to your right shoulder and just drop through your left one. And then left ear to left shoulder drop through your right one and then bring your head back to neutral just move your breath away from your rib cage back into your deep belly breathing just settling the breath just below your chest and above your navel think about how your postural muscles are are you sitting upright or are you slouching Take the shoulders back and really open your chest. The more open we are in our front body, the more encouraging it is for the breath to come into the body and feed our muscles and our brain. With our next breath in, take your arms wide and high and bring the palms together. Bring your thumbs to your third eye, which is positioned between your eyebrows and bring your elbows together. Now, if you can lift your internal eye gaze up towards this area, 
Just feel the muscles in the eyes working. If that becomes too much, you can just return your eye gaze. This helps with focus, concentration, clarity of mind, and intuition. Now we're going to bow forward humbly together. Namaste. And rising. Taking the hands to the center of the chest. Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, settle the breath all the way down your spine to your tailbone. Let's do that together one more time. Inhaling all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. And then as you breathe out, all the way down to the tailbone. With your next breath in, just blink your eyes open. Be thankful for our shared practice today. Give yourself a little clap and thank you for sharing this practice with me. Have a good day.